berries. We need two apples, two potatoes, two lemons, and solar. And we're also going to need a green science potato clock kit. Let's see what's in the kit. In the set we have digital clock and wires, a couple of pots, a connecting wire, copper and zinc strips, and transparent tapes. I think we're ready to build this thing, but I'm not sure it's going to work. Who has ever seen a battery made out of fruit and vegetables, or even a fizzy drink? But let's try it anyway, let's see what happens. I think I'm going to try with potatoes first. <laughs> You're going to need one copper stick and one zinc stick and connect it to the clock. Guys, something strange is happening. Whenever I hold the sticks, the clock is working. I think I'm a battery myself. Instead of all the fruit and vegetables and solo, I can just use my body. I can't believe it's working. Well, I'm going to try all the potatoes anyway. You're going to need to stick these sticks in, but the trick is you've got to stick them all the way to the bottom and each one has to have a silver and gold. You just need to attach them like that to the very, very bottom. And then you put the other one in the very, very bottom. And then the potato clock is working. We're going to use another really cool tool to see how much electricity the potato makes. It makes almost three volts. It's like a little battery. Now that we know that it works, Let's see which fruit makes the most electricity. Ooh, these lemons make some electric noise. Let's see how much electricity the lemons make. That looks like Lisbon potatoes. It looks like it's only making 1.4 volts. Let's try the apples now. Whoa, the apples are a battery? Wow, it looks like the apple is winning because it's making 3.1 volts. Let's use solar. Look at those bubbles. Whoa, it made 3.1 like apple. Well, that was fun and it worked. I'm surprised. Now I'm going to use fluent batteries. Guys, if you enjoyed my video, like it and subscribe. Bye.